Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two guys. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm down here doing a late night painting because I was so inspired. I watched my Massey boys, Sweet Darling Lee and Jeremy Massey from Massey Art Studio and Lee a couple of days ago did what I thought was one of the prettiest pours he'd ever done. They did a triple kiss pour. Now, this girl doesn't have three hands. I've only got two. And I don't have a Jeremy as my sidekick. So I'm just going to do a regular kiss pour. And I'm going to use a lot of the colors that Lee used. Now I don't have all the colors that Lee used so I kind of had to make them up as I go but I was just madly in love with this painting that he did. It was whimsical. It, it was just filled with color and I thought you know I don't think my boyfriend will mind if I give it a go. So let's talk about what we're doing. We're working with a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. And I have these special handles that a darling painting peep sent me. And I really like them. And I think she sent them because she felt bad for my hands. <laughs> I forget to put my gloves on a lot. Or I put them on to start out. And then I take them off for whatever reason, and I'm too lazy to put another pair back on. So these are going to come in handy. I thank you and my hands. <laughs> thank you. So 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Now, our base coat today is a little different than what Lee used. He used a white. This is my slop paint bucket paint. It is leftover paints and usually the white or the cream hues that I keep in a container. And then I strain them, pour them into another container, and then doctor them up with uh, either more pouring medium or more paint. Now, what's in here? I'm not quite sure. I can tell you there's probably some Artist Loft Soft Body White. I know that there's some satin enamel in the soft beige and there might even be a little rust-oleum champagne in here but it's the right consistency and we're going to go ahead and use it up our other paints are absolutely yummy in this cup right here we have deco art metallics and that is their pearl in this handsome cup right here, we have DecoArt Metallics, and that is their 24 karat gold. This fun and yummy cup right here. I don't remember what uh, Lee used, but he had like an olivey green. That right there is a combination of PBO, PEBIO, iridescent green, yellow. And for funsies, I put into it DecoArt Metallics Jadette. This is a pretty paint. I just wish they made it in bigger bottles. This is also a yummy color Lee put together. And I remember this. I remember he used the golden phyllo turquoise. And he added to it a little bit of the Deco Art Metallics, which gave it a wonderful shimmer and more of a green hue to it. This yummy paint, he used a real pretty blue. And I didn't have it on hand. Let's take a look at that. Isn't that lovely? That is DecoArt Extreme Sheen, and that is their Sky Blue Topaz. Once again, a beautiful paint. I just wish I could get it in bigger bottles, because I go through these little ones just so darn quickly. This right here is a yummy color. That is Golden Fluid Acrylics in the Philo Blue. Right here, a yummy paint that I used for the uh, collaboration with some wonderful people a couple of days ago. This is DecoArt Metallics, and that is their Garnet. And you, Lee used a real pretty pink. <laughs> this girl doesn't do much pink. This is the only pink that I had. And what I was going by was I did a screenshot of all of Lee's cups. And uh, as I was mixing paints, I just looked at the screenshot of all of those paints. 
That guy right there is PBO Studio Acrylics, and that is the Iridescent Violet Blue. So we've got some fun, fun, whimsical colors, guys. Um, my pouring medium, my pouring medium is different from Lee's as well. Lee uses Liquitex Gloss Pouring Medium, and I am totally out of it, and I know that he paints with much thicker paints than I do. So what I did was I put about... Oh, a half a tablespoon of GAC 800 in the bottom of my cup. I added my paints. I can't tell you how much paint because every paint was different. If I was using a tube paint, we've got about an ounce of paint to about two to two and a half ounces of pouring medium. If I'm using a fluid paint, we've got just a squirt or two of the golden fluids in there. And then I add the pouring medium until... I'm comfortable with the hue and the color that remains. So my pouring medium today is strained Floetrol because um, it's thicker, thicker than my Liquitex pouring medium. And to thicken up my thin paints, like my fluid paints, I use Sweet Krista's Mix Pour. Everybody asked how you get this. You just email Darling Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Tell her I said a big hello and she will send you some. It's a great product for thickening up your paints. It's a great product to use alone with your paints. I will put the link to Krista's email address in the description box. I will put the link to Lee's beautiful painting that he did on his YouTube channel. Now, he layered his cups. He did three cups, and Jeremy helped him pour. I'm only going to do two cups. And he mixed up his layers differently, I think, for each cup. So I'm going to do one cup in a certain order and then the second cup I'm going to do it backwards. So we'll see what happens guys. Fun beautiful colors. I hope I can come close to the beauty that Lee made with Jeremy's assistance. Let's put some tunes on guys. Let's get busy painting.